Good morning. If indeed you're watching this in the morning, COVID, lockdown, we're back to all of that, hopefully for not too long. You know, I don't know what to think about COVID. I don't know how to think about it. Is it a blessing from God that's caused the nations and companies of the world to think about their values? What is good leadership? What is true? Is scientific belief all, that, all that's important or are there more personal things that are? What's important? What's fair? How should we have, how should we who have share with those who don't? Is that important? Can we do something proactive about that for the future? There's a lot of things that have been stirred up by COVID that really giving the opportunity to restructure all sorts of things. On the other hand, is COVID evil? Does it destroy God's creation? Does it damage people's ability to feed their families? Make plans? Does it cause everything to become uncertain and threatened? Does it divide families and other means of support? Is it evil? Being uncertain is very rare, rarely fun. Lois recently shared two verses from Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2, with a few of us, and it, I thought, wow, that's, that's such a good verse. I must share it this morning. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Rest, refuge, trust. It's what we all need, it's what we all want in the uncertain times in which we're living. And as well as ourselves, it's also what Abraham needed. And in our passage today, we get right at the beginning, God saying, don't be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your very great reward. It's also what the Macintoshes need as they go from where we are, where we all go into lockdown for a few cases of COVID, to a country where there's much more COVID and a much more complicated um, state of affairs. It's not always a sim simple and it doesn't always run simply. And right next to another country that's even worse, like Myanmar, and where they've got friends. They also need to know the rest, the refuge, and the trust that we have in Christ, that we have from our God. I want to pray, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you as we come into our service this morning that we can rely on you as our God and our Saviour. We thank you that we can put all of the experiences of life in that context. And although they're not enjoyable and sometimes they're awful, they're all within the context of God's rest and refuge, and we trust it. Lord, I just pray that you will enable us to gather our thoughts around that reality this morning as we continue our service. Thank you. Amen. I'll see you later.